Hello everybody! Welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I'm going to go over a little bit more about color management and try to explain it a little bit more in this tutorial. So the way I'm going to explain it this time is by talking about the images or videos that you want to import and show you how um, the color management system works with those. So right now I have gone to, well let's set it up from the beginning for you guys. Let's go into file and then we'll go to project settings. And if we come down to the color settings, I have this set right now for 32 bits per channel and I changed my working space to HDTV uh, REC 709 and I hit OK. Now when you come over and uh, check out the um, images and things you get this section here that says profile and uh, this one says profile sRGB and then this whole bunch of uh, letters and numbers and <clears throat> what this profile means is when someone takes a picture and uh, gives it to you it usually has an embedded profile within it depending on what your camera settings are or what you had on uh, what the uh, default is on your camera so <clears throat> this picture I picked off off the internet and I just saved it to my computer now if you remember or watched the last tutorial when you save an image from the computer or you're using images for web you want to use this actual profile or this workspace sRGB that's a default for uh, web-based uh, projects now if I come down to um, something that I took off from my uh, phone like I think this one let me see if I can find one here we go where was it there it is it has a profile of C2 now I'm not too sure what C2 means but um, that is the profile and it had and some of these have different profiles this uh, graffiti one that we took <clears throat> Let me bring it up for you so you can see so you don't have to like look at these small pictures, but There's this graffiti looking uh, picture that I actually took from a Actual camera it was from a Canon camera and this was on a wall at a bar that we went to and I just took a picture of it because it's bright and cool and and then I saved it later after saving it from the camera raw into a JPEG out of um, probably Photoshop I probably used and it gave it the Adobe RGB 1998 um, profile now I want to show you how you can actually change profiles if you would like to fit um, different like profile types of your actual project so we've got our project here <clears throat> that's uh, HDTV and um, I would set HDTV if I want to work in HD for like putting this picture onto a TV so I'm gonna zoom in on this you can come down to your image in your project panel and my image right here is the cornfield that that JPG and we come down to this button down here interpret footage you click on it and it brings you to this interpret footage uh, menu here if we come over to the color management tab we can check our uh, change our profile that's going on now we've got the profile that's already embedded in it which is srgb and um, we can click preserve RGB which will um, allow you not to change the assign a profile to it or we can assign one of those profiles that we had found before and these profiles uh, get based off of what your project is so if I change the color space that's what these uh, profiles do they change like the different color space that's within the um, image for example, Pro Photo RGB here has the mo one of the most color spaces out of anything and it has colors that like any monitor can't even use yet. So, if I click on that, it's going to change how the color space is. 
Now, if someone hands you a um, video, some video footage or an image, and lets you know what they used for their profile, then this is how you can come in and change that. So, I mean, this is um, the HDTV one for our profile, so we want to come down to HDTV here and use that. And this is the probable color space that we're going to use that looks nicest on HDTV. Now, if you're using, um, like, let's change up, let's change everything up here. I'll hit OK, and we'll change up this to the the project settings to the sRGB here. This is for web. And hit OK. And um, now I can come back into the interpret footage and I'll be should be able to change it back to the sRGB colors right here. And that's how you like match up your images to your workspace if you're deciding to use that. Um, so you want to check out this profile up here to see what's going on and what it has been assigned already and pretty much uh, assign your images and video to what it's going to be. Most of the time your images will be correct and sometimes your video will be correct but uh, a lot of the time the video isn't going to be correct. So we've got some HDTV video on here already and uh, this is the different color space here and then we've got some NTSC video so it looks like most of these videos have been uh, are correct I downloaded uh, this lion one here I downloaded that off the off the web from uh, like a website so that's uh, came in the web image our web profile there so I mean that's why it's uh, the sRGB and um, hopefully you guys hopefully this is uh, making sense to you guys this is probably one of the harder things I've tried to teach is the color management <clears throat> but um, because we haven't like gone over anything before this that kinda makes a whole lot of sense with the color management and sometimes you don't even need to mess with the color management to even like have uh, a nice looking video or anything like that. Um, I think I've only messed with the color management a handful of times and that's when people hand me really uh, nice footage like um, DPXs or or uh, red camera footage and things like that. So just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, this is called interpret footage and all we went over this time was the um, footage for um, the color management section now let me just open up the like something like here's a DPX and this says trillions of colors and I can bring that in and I mean we've got um, if we uncheck the preserve RGB we've got a bunch of different types of um, film I don't know different types of profiles that are using that are different from the one in the cornfield so let me just bring that up real quick so you can see that so I'll bring this down into our composition and uh, that's fine where it is right now we can use that to see what's the color differences will be I don't need to scale it down or anything like that let's uh, interpret the footage and um, uncheck preserve RGB so we can check this We've got our assigned profile here, and if I click on show all available, then we get all these other ones that are going on instead of the ones that it was just showing us. So you want to figure out what they have their camera setting on and set it to that. So what if I change it to SD? That didn't change too much. Um, if I change it to one of these down here, it definitely will change though. So there's a, a different type of color there on that. That's a. All these have different like looks to them. There's a tungsten. So um, just uh, make sure the person you know what the person that was using uh, that shot the the video 
make sure you know what they were using if you need to. If they don't say anything, then don't usually have to worry about it. So just letting you know that. Um, we've got uh, the Cineon settings here, which is just the, uh, the, the range going on here. Um, if you mess with, you shouldn't need to mess with these too much, and um, we'll go over these at a at a later time because this is like way advanced and everything like that. So we'll go over those when we get into the more advanced tutorials. This right now, this color management and everything is definitely uh, for it's like an advanced tutorial, but I'm not describing every single thing of it. So I'm kind of keeping it at like an intermediate pace for the tutorial. So you got you get the basic idea of what's going on with color management without going into too much detail and confusing you until we start learning more stuff. So um, thanks for watching this tutorial and hopefully it made sense and you understand it. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching all the tutorials up to this point so far. Even if you only just watched a, a few, that's cool. Uh, thanks for uh, watching everybody. Have a good day.